Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren Marie Beauty and today, if you couldn't tell, we are doing a Kim Possible cosplay and here to join me is... Say hi, Chip. Hi, everybody. He's not too happy that he's sitting on me. So this is my Kim Possible cosplay. And the reason I'm doing it, I was actually Kim Possible a while ago, actually last year at Cleveland Comic Con. I'm going again this year, but as a different character. So stay tuned for that. And I also did this because it's timely because the movie is coming out on February 15th, the live action Kim Possible movie. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to put on some primer. I know I look like a ghost right now, but my favorite primer to use right now is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. This is probably my favorite primer of all time. Look how much I've used out of it. It is amazing. And make sure you put on primer before your foundation to make your makeup stay on. Next is your foundation. My favorite foundation to use is Mary Kay's Medium Coverage Foundation. And let me take it out for you guys. Link down below for any Mary Kay makeup. It is in the color Ivory 204. So here's what it looks like. And I'm going to put some on my hands. I'm very untraditional when it comes with putting on my foundation, but remember Kim is pale, so you have to make sure we don't have too dark a foundation because she is not that tan. Then I get my foundation brush and just get it all over my face. All right, we are going to use two different palettes for her eye look. And the first one we're gonna use is the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale palette. I love this palette I got in one of my boxy charms. Here's what it looks like. And we are going to, all over the lid, put on this nocturnal color, that white. All right, now we're going to do a crease shade. And for the crease shade, we're trying to make those cartoonish eyes. So we really wanna focus kind of making it round, making her round. We are going to use the color Flip Out, this darker brown. And we're going to dip in with the crease brush and get a rounded color. And just bring it not too far out, but you can fix that with concealer in our concealer step. Other side. All right, so as you can see, we're kind of getting that roundish, kind of not anime, but we're still getting that cartoonish look. And what we are going to do now is we're just going to put a light nude-ish color on the lid. And that color is actually going to be this pinky color in the middle here of the Nightingale palette. It's called Pillow Fight. All right, so I put the nude color. So really there is not a lot of eyeshadow to this look. We're still gonna use more eyeshadows later, but we're gonna use them for eyeliner and eyebrows. So next step is actually concealer. Another favorite you can grab down below from Mary Kay is the Perfecting Under Eye Corrector. And it's mostly for under eyes, but I actually use it for concealer. And this is in the, I think they're all the same shade. They're all in a very ivory color, just like the foundation, because I'm white, very white, very pale. And what I love 
about concealer is that, yes, it conceals things, but it also helps if you are doing like a swoopy eyeliner and you mess up or you mess up your eyeshadow. It's so, so nice. All right, so my favorite setting powder, of course, is the Too Faced Born This Way Translucent Setting Powder. It is lovely and I've been using it forever. And remember, setting powder is after you use all of your liquid products before you use your powder products. So this is next in our step to become Kim Possible and it's translucent. So it will not show up as a color on our face. So I just put it in the lid here and I mix it around with my stipling face brush. I'm getting a lot, of, a lot of excess and put it all over your face, especially on your T-zone up here and your under eyes. And no matter what color you are, you can be Kim Possible if you want. I just happen to have the same exact skin tone as she does, except I'm not a redhead. But we have a wig later that we are going to put on to complete the look. But first, eyeliner. We're going back into the Nightingale palette and we are going to be using this flat top brush and we're going to put it as eyeliner on our under eyes, but we don't wanna make our eyes too, too round. So I will show you what we're going to do. We're going into the color Hide and Seek, which is this lighter nude color. And we are going to bring it out and connect it with the other color, but don't bring it all the way in. Do not bring it all the way in because we want to get Kim's perfect eye look. Ow. I poked myself in the eye. Because you want to give her that round shape, but you still want to try and keep the natural almond shape. We're also going to dip into flip out again and kind of go toward the, just the end here. And make it a little darker. We'll fix it. So I'm making all sorts of weird faces. And here's the eyes. Here's the eye look right now. So we are doing good, doing good. Next up is actually, I don't know what's next. Too Faced again, Sweetie Pie Matte Bronzer. I love this so much. It is so nice and works really well with my skin tone. And I'm using my contour brush from SL Miss Glam. And I would say just a light contour if you really do one. Just to kind of get some definition. She, she, definition. she does have a very round face. So I'm just doing this just to kind of do more with the look and just show you there are other options when you want to be Kim. I would say though, do not do blush with this look because she really has no blush. So I just would skip out on blush and skip out on highlighter. Now, Kim doesn't have a lot of big lashes either. So I'm actually, sorry, I'm dropping all my makeup. Oh God, all right, hold on. Kim doesn't have crazy lashes going on. So I'm actually gonna use this Tarte Lifted Mascara and I'm using it because it's in brown black and we wanna keep that like brownish look. We don't really wanna go too black with it. That's why I did the eyeliner. Remember, please remember me. I have Kingdom Hearts stuck in my head, sorry guys. So you just wanna be very subtle 
you don't want too crazy of lashes so don't even put any fake lashes on i'm not a fake lashes person anyway but make sure you don't put any looks on for this one if you want the complete look and you're not supposed to do bottom mascara but i am just to add a little bit of a girly look now we get into the fun part you may have seen this palette before my nomad cosmetics antilles palette oh my god this is one of my favorite palettes of all time perfect for cosplay perfect for really fun looks take a look at these colors in here look how beautiful these shades are and if you can imagine next is eyebrows and what color does kim have for hair orange red technically but as you can see we have seven mile beach this orange color i use this palette also for my 20th anniversary spiral cosplay tutorial slash halloween tutorial technically so if you guys want to see that it's linked down below i've actually never used this brush for really i think i've used this brush one time it's an aesthetica brush and it's for eyebrows and i think you can use it for eyeliner too maybe well either way we're going to make our eyebrows super orange with seven mile beach but it's i want it to match the wig and the wig is a little bit darker it's the same wig i used in my spiral tutorial i'm going to mix it with secret harbor which is this brownish color so we're actually going to put secret harbor on first and then put the orange over it mm -hmm. okay and then just draw the eyebrows however you want to because the eyebrows aren't too crazy for kim so i'm just kind of drawing them like that and make sure you're light with this brown and you can always go in and fix it later with cosplay there's never really any mistakes. And I like how this color is kind of orangey too in a way. So this will mix nicely. Okay, going in and just fixing it a little bit. And now we're going to go into the orange. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Ah! There we go. Oh my gosh. I'm orange. I'm orange. Holy macaroni. Look at that. Look at that eyebrow. To the other side. Oh my gosh. Wonderful. Oh my gosh, these eyebrows. They look so weird. They look so weird. But I had to add the brown with it or else it would have looked way too orange. It would have been crazy. Okay. Last but not least are the lips. And we know Kim has that signature brown upper lip and then kind of nude under lip. So what we are doing is we're actually going on the bottom lip first, we're going to put more concealer. Okay, that should be enough. And that's the thing, you gotta make sure you don't rub your two lips together during this process. It's not that difficult because I walked around to Comic-Con all day and I didn't have a problem and I ate too. All right, let's try with our finger. I have chapped lips too, so this is gonna look great. This is gonna look great. Okay. Yep, that's good. Good, great. Great. Okay. Here you go. So just pat it down. See, it's already looking nude. All right, that's the best that I can do right now. And then we can go into dun, 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 dun. got this in my yes oh yas bag uh link down below for that you can get 10 percent off with my code i'm using the per se professional smear proof lip liner and the color is nudist
Cam has like that weird like mustache looking thing. So I'm gonna see if I can do it, but if not, I'm gonna fix it. Uh, to be honest, you guys, I don't know if I want to keep this mustache looking thing. I have to find a picture of Kim. Hold on. I mean, I think it works. Yeah, so if you just use a lip liner with this, it should be fine. Because if you use like lip gloss and stuff, trust me, it's going to look shiny and not look good. You want something matte. Okay, perfect. My wig cap is missing, so I think my mom stole it again. Um, she comes in my room and takes all of my stuff and just, it disappears forever. So comment down below if your mom always loses your stuff. So we're gonna have to put on the wig without a wig cap. So guess what? We're just gonna have to use the netting. Great. Taking the wig out first, I have my hair already in a braid. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it and clip your hair as flat as possible. And you're going to clip it like this so your hair looks like that. And just make it as flat as possible. I found that a braid is the best way to do it. And then you just have to use the miracle that are bobby pins and pin them down. This is like one of the only times I would like to have short hair because then I wouldn't have to worry about putting on a cosplay wig. So I've bobby pinned it like so. Now we're gonna get the wig out and we're going to put the wig on. And since we have no wig cap and I am thoroughly upset about it because I don't know where it is. We're just gonna use the netting that came with the wig. So you always wanna go front first and you wanna make sure you get all your hair. So this would be the same thing you do if you had a wig cap like I did six minutes ago. You get lay wig and I keep the original stuff in it so that it keeps its shape, the original stuffing and then you do just brushing it out here you also go front first uh oh we've we've gotten stuck folks all right and then just lift it over like so and then fix it. Make sure none of your original hair color is showing. There you go, folks. This is my Kim Possible tutorial. So this is the final look, you guys. And real quick, I'm gonna tell you where I got each of the pieces from. We'll start bottom up. Um, the boots, I'm not sure where I got them from. Usually, usually I use my jazz shoes, but since the winter is outside, I used my boots. And the pants, uh, I don't know where I got them either. <laughs> So this is going great. The shirt and the wig I both got from Amazon. The shirt, the brand is Ambiance, and I know I have other Ambiance items. They actually sell them for really cheap on Amazon and in Charlotte Russe. The gloves I actually got from a gift from my room, my old roommate. So I actually love these gloves, so thank you. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel. I post new videos as frequently as I can, and I hope you guys enjoyed my cameo from Chippy! He doesn't like me right now. He doesn't like me right now. Let me know 
what you guys thought about it and what other looks you want me to do. And let me know if you're excited for Kim Possible to come out on Disney Channel, the live action movie. Please let me know. Call me, beat me, if you want to reach me. See ya! Ha! <laughs> There's my dad. <laughs>